Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times Crossword for Friday, February 11th, 2022. Alright, let's get started. Okay, it looks like we have stacks of grid spanners on the grid today. That's always exciting to see. Let's see what this first one is. One across. Words to a skeptic. Hmm. These are always hard to get without crossing help. Words to a skeptic. Is it going to be like, you've got to believe or something? Hmm. It could be something like that. Let's look at the next one. What friendly opponents may do? Hmm. Yeah, these could go in so many different directions. Friendly opponents. Maybe it could be like, agree to disagree? Would that fit, actually? Agree to disagree. Oh my god, that does fit. That's a pretty good answer there. Subject of the so-called surgeon's photograph of 1934. I've never heard of this, the surgeon's photograph. Yeah, so we're not going to be able to get this one. All right, let's see if we can build off of agree to disagree. Let's hope that that's correct. Notable founding of 1701. Hmm, that's interesting. So this is going to predate the United States. I wonder if they're going to be talking about a university. Could it be Yale? That would fit with that A. Impediments to teamwork. This looks like it should be egos. Wow, just having one letter on the across here is already helping so much. Tolkien creatures. Well, because of that R, we can put in orcs, I think. If we were just starting cold, we wouldn't know if it was orcs or ents. Yeah. Man, that helps a lot. Okay, yuck. An equivalent phrase. Hmm. I'm not sure what this should be. Yuck. This starts with Y-E-O. Oh, it's going to be ye of little faith, right? <laughs> That's great. I still don't think we're going to be able to get this one. Yeah, we're going to need a lot of crossing help here. Yuck. Is this like fe? <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that on a grid before. Fe. What an interesting string of letters. I wonder if this is going to be the Loch Ness Monster. Ooh, that would have fit in nicely on our monster puzzle from a couple of weeks ago. Loch Ness Monster. Ooh, wow. We've completed the first stack already. That's really good. And we have a lot of crossing help at the beginning of these down answers. Gradually slowing in music. Ah, uh, I'm not great with musical terminology. Is it like Lento something? We also got S filled in here. Squad leader? That's wordplay, so it's not going to be about the captain of the football team. This is going to be the leader of the word squad, an S. Very funny. Inventory. Hmm, I wonder if this is going to be inventory as a verb? Is it going to be itemize? I wonder. Let's just see if this Z is correct. Pioneering automaker. Yeah, that could be Ben's, right? He was a very early automaker. Ooh, that's great. A lover of Italian opera. Ooh, I think this is a nice misdirection. This is not about someone that loves Italian opera. I think this is probably a lover that's in an Italian opera? I think this has to be Tosca. That's a famous opera, right? Excellent, okay. Cinemax competitor? I guess that could be the movie channel. Terra's Greek counterpart. Terra? Oh man, um, this is like a goddess, right? Is it Gaia? Uh, I still have no idea on this Italian word here. Yeah, we're going to need more help on the end. Food named for a world capital, but pronounced differently. Oh, is this going to be a lima bean? And it was named after Lima, Peru. 
That's great. Okay. That's a cool clue. 1962 pop hit with a rhyming title. Yeah, you're going to have to learn this one if you do crosswords. It shows up fairly often. That's Aso Beso. I believe it's Paul Anka. Is that right? Some unauthorized drawings. Hmm. Is that going to be fan art? Yeah, that's a flourishing modern phenomenon. Okay, Judicial Ratings Group, ABA, is that the American Bar Association? British Territory in the Atlantic. Ooh, um, so maybe it's going to be an island? It starts with B-E-R? I'm not sure if I know this. Handmade Signs, and this is wordplay, so this is not going to be about a sign that was hand-painted, I don't think. Um, I would really want this to be about like American sign language or some other kind of way of communicating with your hands. Is it going to be gestures? <laughs> That's great. It's very clever. The X-Men, for example. Well, the X-Men are all mutants, right? Yeah, that's a very important part of the story. Okay, Muse for Galileo. Oh man, a muse? Is this literally like a Roman muse? Or is it kind of more figuratively a muse for Galileo? Hmm, I'm not sure. Muscles strengthened by push-ups informally. Well, you could strengthen your pecs by doing push-ups, right? In your triceps. Hmm, pecs is too short though. Is it gonna be delts maybe? That's kind of like in your shoulder, right? Yeah, let's try that. I think that might be right. Offshore, that could be a C. Oh, is this gonna be Bermuda? Oh yeah. Okay, that's an island. A count, that could be a tail. This is a very ambiguous clue. That's very tricky. We were only able to get it because we had so much crossing help already. Certain list recipient. <laughs> is that going to be Santa? Santa was on the mini today too, but clued very differently. Okay, maybe this is going to be Uranus. Yeah, so not a mythological muse. It's a different kind of muse. Okay. Philosopher Diderot. I'm not familiar with this person. Yeah, I don't know their first name. Hmm. Blues Hall of Famer James. Ooh, that's not Etta James. I guess there could be a different James. Hmm, that's tricky. Give oneself something to aim for. Hmm, is that just going to be set a goal? Is this really not Etta James? Maybe it's not Uranus. Hmm. Ooh, this is tricky. I'm going to take this out just in case it's wrong. So we remember to come back to it. Yeah. Hmm. Word of regret. That should be alas. Month for watching the Perseid meteor shower. Well, with that G at the end, it seems like it has to be August. Although that gives us two A's. Exclamation of exasperation. Hmm, well, I guess it could start with two A's, maybe, because it's an exclamation. Oh boy. Reynolds co-star in 1981's The Cannonball Run. Okay, so it's gonna be the last name of another actor. I've actually never seen The Cannonball Run. Shoot. Well, we got a little bit of crossing help on these bottom stacks. Let's see if we can keep building down over here. Blank Richter, contemporary artist whose painting Abstractus Build 599 sold at auction for a record setting $46.3 million. <laughs> uh, I have no idea. It looks like it has to be a German artist. This is German, I think, here. I think it's just abstract picture or abstract painting. Um, yeah. I don't know, I'm definitely not going to be able to get their name. Flat-bottomed riverboat. Oh man. 
I'm not sure what this is going to be either. On blank? Is that going to be on guard? Are we fencing here? Lentond. I wonder if this is like Lentondo? I guess it could be. It's probably either an A or an O. Collectible print in brief. I think that should be a litho, short for lithograph. Uh, hmm. Is this like Gerhardt or something? I don't know. Circumference. Could that be girth? Hasty getaways. Is that going to be lambs? Like you're on the lamb? Bailiwick. I think this is another word for a hullabaloo or a stir or an ado. Um, it starts with A-R. And this is M-T. Who? We better hope this is a mountain. High point of the Old Testament for short. <laughs> okay, so maybe that's Mount Ararat. Yeah, all right. I'm really glad to see that that's a mountain. How horrible. And we have a bracket clue here. So I guess the nonverbal part is going to be in the answer because this is verbal up here. How horrible. Maybe that's going to be Shudder. Also my favorite streaming service. Hmm. This is looking completely foreign to me. Yikes. This is looking like it could be Gerhardt, though. It could be like an E or an A. Hmm. Oh, shoot. This is really tricky. All right, let's come back to this also. Flash. Hmm. This is kind of ambiguous. This could be like in a flash, like a short amount of time. It could also be like flashing someone your badge or something. Hmm. Language spoken along the Mekong. Ooh. Um, oh shoot, this is a typo. <laughs> Man, I was thinking, yeah, that should be Lao probably, right? Okay, yeah, this is Aso Beso. Um, yeah, maybe this is a glint. Yeah, like a flash of light. Okay. Morale booster. Morale booster. Hmm. Big blank. Oh my god, that's so ambiguous. Hmm. Just try to be calm. An equivalent phrase. Huh. I'm not sure. Boy, we're not getting too much crossing help down here, are we? Carol opener. Hmm, are they talking about a Christmas carol here? Or is it being kind of tricky? Is this a name? This could be a woman's name, Carol. Oof, I'm not sure. Become harder to bear. Is that about something getting heavier? I'm not sure. Down? I guess that could just be sad. It probably could be a bunch of other things, too. Oof. Boy, we were making such good progress, and then it all kind of came to a halt at this bottleneck here. Man, all right, maybe these grid spanners on the bottom will save us. Let's take a look at these. Gives an earful. Okay. Um, I guess it could be about, like, letting someone have it. Gives an earful. Hmm. Yeah, there could probably be a few phrases that would work here. Rhetorical question, lamenting a lack of respect. <laughs> Rhetorical question, okay. Is it like, what did I do to deserve this? Or, yeah, I'm not sure what it should be. Implicatively, oh boy. Um, implicatively. So you're like, implicating someone or something? I have no idea. Let's look at these short downs here piece of barbecue. Uh, Amarillo to Dallas direction. Hmm. I'm not sure where Amarillo is in relation to Dallas. I want to say it's likely that it's farther south and west, although I don't know that for sure. Creature without ears that uses vibrations to hear. Hmm. I wonder if that's going to be like an ant or something? I don't know. Company that introduced Saran Wrap. <laughs> I don't know which company introduced Saran Wrap. Oh boy. 
Tolkien creature. Very funny. We've got a partner to our orcs up here. I wonder if this is actually going to be end here like we mentioned before. Let's go ahead and put that in. We really need the help here. One-time cable giant acquired by AT&T in 1999. Oh my god. Um, Cable. Is in like cable television? Didn't they acquire like MCI or something? I thought that was like a phone company though. Oof. I don't know. Maybe it's MCI. Exclamation of disappointment. Hmm. And it can't be a lass. We have a lass in the grid already. Hmm. Big name in frozen confections. Is it going to be Edie's? Some terminal info for short. Okay, so that should be estimated time of arrivals, maybe, or departures. I think it's probably more likely to be arrivals because of this Y here. Fade away. Hmm. I don't know. This looks like it might be wrong. I wonder if ETAs is wrong, actually, because we have a DT here. That looks really bad. Shoot. Oh, man. All right. Well, I think we've looked at every clue we possibly can. Let me poke around the grid and see if I can find a place to get a toehold here. Okay, I think I might have a few things in the center here. An equivalent for just try to be calm. I think that could just be breathe, right? Yeah. And then with that B in here, this looks like this is going to be Big Ben. Maybe a morale booster could be a win? That would be a morale booster for like a team, right? So then maybe become harder to bear could be wear thin. I like those letters. We have a TH here. That's kind of nice to see. Ah, okay. I think I finally saw what this long across should be. I was thinking if my hypothesis about this direction is correct, that would mean the Amarillo to Dallas direction would be either north northeast or east northeast so i put an e in here and i was thinking this could maybe be reads the riot act that would mean edie's is not right that's good that kind of clears up this messiness that was happening over here i really like reads the riot act that's a great entry um this is probably east northeast it could be east southeast also though Hmm, maybe this is Ant. That's what we wanted it to be originally, right? Hmm, Saran Wrap. I don't know, is it like Dow? Dow Chemical? Hmm, that's interesting. This looks like it might be between something. Oh, is it between the lines? Oh, that's great. That's another really nice piece of fill. Um, what is this going to be? Rhetorical question. Maybe this is an S, actually. Because it seems like this should start with is. Is something. Is nothing sacred. Oh, this was ETDs. Shoot. Okay. Yeah. Is nothing sacred. That's fantastic. Wow, what a great stack down here. That is really, really nice. Of course, this one is fantastic too. Yeah, these are two really nice examples of stacks of grid spanners. I don't think you could do much better than this. These are both great. Um, oh my god, what is this? Is this Latin? I don't know if I recognize this. This could be eat, though. If you down something, you eat it. So is this ad est? Is that like in the east? I have no idea. Oh man, I think it has to be right though. Does that help here? Is this Dom de Luis? I think it has to be, right? Yeah, okay. Um, this is arg, that looks really good. I think this has to be at a James. So is this Dennis? Urania? Wait, maybe they are talking about a classical muse. Urania. Interesting. And then this is Dennis Diderot. 
Oh my God. Okay. Yeah. I think that has to be right. And then we're still stuck with this. Oof. Um, I just don't know. Hmm. Well, can we get the end here at least? Maybe this is just darn an exclamation of disappointment. I guess this could be die and then that would make this icy frozen confections. Yes, that's good. Um, Hmm. Well, I just can't think of a plausible entry for this across answer here. Yeah, I put an A and an E here in my mind, and I just can't think of anything that makes sense. I guess the best thing to do would be to put our best guess in here and then run the alphabet and see if we hit on anything. Yeah, let's give that a try. Fiddlesticks. Yeah. All right, I'm going to try running the alphabet on that square and hopefully we'll get lucky here. Wow. Okay, that didn't take long. A Friday puzzle in 35. Man, yeah. A lot of that time was just searching around near the end there, trying to figure out what those last few entries should be. Wow, this was really tricky. Yeah, you know what? I had the definition for bailiwick completely wrong. I was thinking it was gonna be like a commotion of some kind, but it's actually, I think, like an area of expertise. Now that I think about it, I think I've heard people say that's out of my bailiwick. Yeah, so that definitely held us back there. I think if I had known the definition, that would have been a lot easier to see. So this ended up being a bateau. I think maybe we've seen this once earlier last year. Bateau. Yeah, and then this was Gerhard. Thankfully we guessed correctly on this vowel here. Yeah, honestly this area is not too bad if you know what bailiwick means. Um, yeah, that makes these two things a lot more gettable. So yeah, I actually don't think this section is that bad. Um, yeah, it was just our ignorance about this word that kind of held us back. But boy, let's talk about these three stacks. Ye of little faith, agree to disagree, and Loch Ness Monster. This is fantastic, and this is just as good, if not better. Reads the Riot Act. Is nothing sacred? <laughs> you might hear that after someone exclaims arg. And then between the lines, implicatively... You have to read between the lines for the implication there. Yeah, that is really, really nice. A bunch of other nice fill too. Gestures for handmade signs. I love that. Mutants. That's just a nice piece of fill there. I also like Shudder. That was a lot of fun. I think I probably have to watch the Cannonball Run just so I can see Burt Reynolds and Dom DeLuise tearing around the United States in a car race. That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, and you know what? I don't think we looked at any of these short downs while we were filling these in. Look at this. We got these all on crossing. Field stats, touchdowns, Justice Department bigwigs, attorneys general, yes. New York City's first subway line, the IRT, yes. I'm not sure what that stood for. Was it like Interborough Rapid Transit? I think it was something like that. Buttonless garment, a t-shirt, yes. Singer with a 2018 Grammy for Best R&B Album, Her. Yeah, she's shown up a few times this past year. Yeah, it seemed like this top stack filled in a lot easier than this one down here. We had a lot of trouble filling in every single answer down here. Thankfully, we finally saw Reads the Riot Act. Man. Yeah, it kind of felt like we were stuck in the Bermuda Triangle down there for a little while. Thankfully, we managed to eventually write the ship and finish with a fairly respectable time. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed solving that stacked Friday puzzle with me. I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the most challenging puzzle of the week this Saturday. And I think that's going to do it for now. All right, I'll see you next time.